It's electricity, yeah. It's like, it's like tasing, we're tasing ourselves. Are you ready for level three? Did you research <laughs> this? This freaking hurts, dude. This really hurts. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, Katie St. Ange. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Was that a bit much at the beginning? No, that was lovely. (laughs) (laughs) Did you like the green light? I thought the green light was a nice touch. It was a bit weird, huh? I... I think it had a certain vibe to it. I think how it would was you describe nice. what adjective would you think of the first thing that comes to mind? Um, like spooky alien. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fine. Um, I discovered you um, obviously through social media, mm-hmm. but uh, specifically through uh, Shirley's yeah a video, which really kind of caught my attention. I, and I, I love that video. I've watched it several times. And uh, because of the uh, the subject matter, right? Because um, there's a lot of terminology that, you know, older yeah. people might not be Twitch aware speak. of. speak. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. You mentioned beta, alpha, incel, cringe pill. That's cringe a new one. Pill. I didn't know. What, what, what What's that one? Yeah. I mean, it's so a lot of these i'm not sure what they mean cringe pilled is just this is crin- it's just like cringe with a little extra flair can do you have examples of cringe behavior on social media oh geez um i mean there's so many probably like TikTok thirst traps are the first what? thing that comes into my mind TikTok thirst traps what is that (laughs) um so it's when someone on tiktok will usually like like when a guy does it he'll be like shirtless and he'll just be like gross lip syncing some song and yeah it's it's cringe pilled really he'll be like that is cringe like is it like they're trying too hard trying too hard and just it's overall weird and hard to watch yeah Yeah. why what are the reasons why they do that for attention for attention yeah aren't there other ways of getting attention that's see that's the thing is i don't think they know that but well that's (laughs) half the battle if you know but they're unaware that they're even doing that yeah i think in their minds they're like I'm the, this is the next thing. Two million views, right? Yeah. Oh, Lord. That's like pretty much just what they got going for them is that they have abs. So that's how they get their attention. What are the benefits of abs and showing your abs online? Is it for dating or to impress? I, I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you, but. Because there ain't like. That's just all the cookie dough. Because I don't think it's for dating. TikTok is like a kid's app. So then why would a man <laughs> be showing their abs to kids? That's, Hello. Yeah. See, that's there's the cringe part that's again. The cringe part. That's the cringe part. That's a little more than cringe. But yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, as a concerned patron or fan or just viewer, can you 
text that person to let them know, hey, man, this is not a good idea you're doing. Oh, I think a lot of people will say, hey, this is weird. Stop doing this. But can you do it through an emoji? Maybe. Yeah, probably that one. Is that too harsh? This one or like. Or the puke one. That, yeah, that's a go-to, the puke puke one. Puke and then thumbs down. Like angry face. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, uh, I, I, I (laughs) I don't have TikTok. Can you message on there? You can message, but, uh, like, I don't really read my TikTok messages, so. Why not? Well, there's just, like, the people that I don't follow, Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really read those. There's kind of a lot to go through. How many, do, be honest, how many on your, in your inbox, inbox? I, I don't. Hundreds? Probably. I read all my, um, Instagram DM requests. Good for you. I know. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. But not on TikTok. Not on TikTok. That's just too much. Too many, too many platforms to sift through. Now, what's the purpose? I mean, I'm so out of the loop with TikTok. What is the purpose? Is it 10 second video? Why is everyone dancing and stuff? I don't know what the deal is with dancing. Um, I don't know why that's the one thing that really popped off on the app. Yeah. Yeah. I can't explain why that is, but it's... But it, it took over. Yeah. Synchronized, choreographed shit. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the people who have like a hundred million <sighs> why? followers. Why? I mean, what is the appeal? I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to figure it out. What's the appeal in that? I really have no idea. I think can't it's just... you do that just... on YouTube? You can do that on you. I don't on think it would channel, do nearly you know, as well on why? YouTube. Oh, it's the format. It's like, yeah, yeah. So that's telling me we're in a world where your attention span is getting less and less and less. Yes. So in the future, it's going to be half one second videos like, yeah, next, you know, yeah, uh, just yeah, next, 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 next. We're in a weird world right now, huh? It as is far as this content and corona and all this crazy crazy world yeah you you got vaccinated today as well i did yeah i go tomorrow yeah. morning as well yeah yeah it's everywhere you could go to ralph's grocery store really oh yeah are you getting your first or second uh first oh nice yeah. okay but i've been really safe i mean ask him i'm a hermit i, I don't I oh don't, me too i'm a hermit I, this is my first i prefer time to be alone house, yeah. so yeah and i i don't know you that well but i've I, I watch your Instagram. I take it you're similar to. Oh, I I love my room so much. I could tell. I, yeah, <laughs> I haven't left my room in a while. So yeah, have I've you always been, been like that? I have always been like that. All right, that. let's get let's go through your history. Where are you yeah. originally from? Like I'm from like around Detroit. So oh, uh, Detroit. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm from a place called uh, Bloomfield Hills, but people just know what Detroit is. Oh, I've been to Detroit. Yeah. 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 Um, where I was, there was a lot of like abandoned houses Mm -hmm. and, uh, it just looked like gray and, uh, I kind of liked it though. It was like, looks like, it's kind of like, yeah, some are really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then you were born and raised there. Yeah. High school, junior high, high school. Mm -hmm. When did you decide what motivated you to move up to Los Angeles? I came out here originally for sober living, and then I just... Were well, like, you sober? I'm... So, so I'm clean, but yeah. not sober. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I, I don't call myself sober. Right. I just say, like, I went to rehab a few times, so yeah. now I'm fine. So, but, okay, yeah. it was for, like, alcohol? It was for heroin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've had a shout out to Alice McMunn. Um, she yeah. was actually, she's been on here several times and she was in a, a, a HBO documentary mm-hmm. in it, uh, uh, about heroin usage. So yeah. yeah, she's the same kind of story. Where yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. So, so you initially came out for that. Mm-hmm. And then when did you decide to do like, how'd you meet Churdley's and start doing content and all this? Oh, I met Churdley's cause I matched with one of his friends on Tinder. So <laughs> That's how that's how that all started. Don't even bring up Tinder. <laughs> Lord, I just I was it's a, bit a on mess. It. It Let me tell you terrible. something. I'm going to I'm going to say this before someone tries to uh, um, extort me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all bots, scammers, people from Peru or yeah. Russia 
It's not. There's not even real people. Yeah. I've already been tr- almost extorted the last two days. Oh my god. Where I met like a 25 year old, and then on Instagram, there she's hitting me up. A uh, one from Ukraine. Hey, I like flirting with me, and then. Uh, my mistake is I went over to Instagram. She found my. She was looking at my shit. Are they like people or like? Bo- yeah, like it, are they it, it responsive? Like, that's the thing. They're they're they they look like real profiles mm-hmm. on both on Tinder and Instagram. Yeah. And so the other night she was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, we'll meet up." Uh, and like she had a DJ. You know, I say, like, "Hey, so what kind of music you?" Do? You know, small talk. Then she goes, "Hey, can I ask you something?" I go, "Yeah." She goes, "I need help." I go, what kind of help? Well, I need money. My grandfather's about to move. He- she was trying to get money. <laughs> oh, my God. And then this is, she even said, but we'll, I will possibly meet after. <laughs> that's, that's. <laughs> Maybe number- I'll see you if you what? send me money. <laughs> sus or what? Is that sus? That's crazy. It's just $200 for the possibility of meeting me. That's pretty si- good that's, deal. That's, simp, uh, <laughs> that's a simp would give him a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that's what a simp behavior is. Yes. Um. Here you go. Here's my Beta whole cut life. Power simp. Exactly. <laughs> Second story. You know, um, I don't want to talk too much about Tinder because I already deleted. Every, yeah. Yeah. My account. Um. Same thing. I matched up with an attractive female. She hit me up on Instagram. But then I got I had a simultaneous from a different account and it had a missing persons from like but her like looking younger but a missing persons um uh like passport hey can you talk about this on your platform and I was like this is cr- yeah what <laughs> yeah missing person from Germany but it's the same girl the, the real profile that hit me previous, this was a whole different account, like a third party that kind of intervened, like somehow, somehow intervened. Oh, so they, so. So they had different accounts trying to like extort me or something. What? Yeah. This is, first of all, insane. Second of all, I don't even understand. I like, so I don't it either. Was... I'm trying to, I'm still trying to work it out, but yeah. I knew I, you know, you go with your gut feeling like, okay, there's yeah. something really shady about this. Yeah. And they're, they want something. It was the missing person yeah, hitting you like, up on hey, Tinder. <laughs> no, no, no. I met the girl on Tinder and then she, and then we linked up on Instagram. Mm-hmm. The, the, the girl who I thought I linked up was, was like, doing small talk but during that moment i noticed i had a a message in my dm but then that person a third party was referring to the the tinder match that i was talking to on instagram saying hey blah 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 uh i'm friends with this person that somehow they knew i was talking to and she's missing from germany Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. Are you with me okay. Now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a lot. That's a lot to put on you. You know. What you saying? <laughs> so or what? Yeah. Oh my god. And this is a app where you're just oh I'm gonna f- get a coffee date. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You would you would have deleted. I mean. I just went delete. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not no getting more. sucked into all that. Yeah. No. That's now, have you messy. had weird situations like DMs or uh, like, oh. I'm just interested from a female's point of view, like what y'all have to deal with all the time. Yes. Like give me a couple of <laughs> Give me an example. Um, there was one time a, one of my favorite, favorite DMs was, um, somebody sent me a picture of a, uh, cum jar that they have wait wait. (laughs) say that again they they uh Uh, sent me a message they said oh i have a cum jar and then sent me a picture of their cum jar (laughs) i didn't even know that that was a possibility (laughs) in life oh lord yeah so Mm -hmm. (laughs) a cum jar cum jar is like a a ordinary jar jar filled with sperm yep 
What? <laughs> I don't even know. My mind went blank. But <laughs> what's the reasoning behind uh, cum jar? Um, I think I make a lot of cum jokes. I, I noticed that. that. Yeah. I noticed that. But that's your joke. You can tell they're, uh, they're jokes. Jo- you can tell they're jokes. You're having fun. Yeah. I, and I see that. Yeah. Again, you have to kind of read the joke. Yeah. The tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm writing that down. Yeah. Cum jar. <laughs> cum jar. Yeah. Just I want to put that in my yeah. audio boom description. Yeah. Keep going. That was a good one. There was another one that I I posted this to like Instagram and TikTok, but this one was another good one. It was um. Yo, uh, are you a pedophile? I'm 15. That All was right. inappropriate <laughs> again. Yeah. Okay, that was from left field. Yeah, yeah. And this is just their opening. <laughs> this was their statement. Yeah, them sliding into my DMs. Yeah. Is it like sincere guys that are like really like attracted to you that just want a chance for a date or something? There are, yeah. And how do you respond to those fellows? I don't. I don't really respond to most people. Sometimes people will like, I'll I'll respond like when people ask me for advice or if they say something that's really funny, then mm. I'll respond. Yeah. But I mostly just don't respond. At all. Mm-hmm. Now do, okay, let's go back, take it to the betas and the simps. Yes. How would they respond when you kind of basically ghost them like that? Is that what the word is? Ghosting them? Well, since I never really, I just, I guess just ignore them if I never really talk to them in the first place. So a beta or a simp won't get upset, but an incel might? Yes. Okay, so my next question is, what's the difference between an incel, a beta, and a simp? Incel is kind of like a violent simp. (laughs) <laughs> explain wait, wait, wait. elaborate <laughs> incel elaborate. is like a hateful simp like simp you know they're kind of like obsessed with women and incels are obsessed with women in the way that they hate women because they like want women so much that they hate the whole world and how it works and mm-hmm. operates and this is the way they, the world is operated and yeah the way things are yeah mm-hmm. what about then where do where does the beta fall into that whole equation beta is just kind of like it's it's just kind of like a uh what's the word is it prefix is that okay yeah it's like a prefix like you're not as good you know like you're so you're uh, this thing but you're not as good at being this thing so my next question i know this is a lot (laughs) to take in folks what are the main what are the differences between an alpha and a beta? What makes an alpha an alpha and a beta a beta? I think it's the confidence. Alpha's got the confidence. Alpha's like the the leader of the pack, you know? Can an alpha be rich and and still be a a simp or um a beta? I think so. I was having I had a um I don't know if any of this will hit you, but I was having a discussion with someone whether there can be like an alpha virgin or a beta Chad. And okay, yep. hold on. Yeah. <laughs> you might be losing We're gonna people. have to okay. break it so down, <laughs> folks. A Chad in the uh, MGTOW movement and the incel movement, the uh, they refer to Chad. Um, it's just a name, but it, it represents like your your ideal alpha male and then they have like a, a picture of him he's got cool blonde hair spied, yeah wearing it like he's got he's muscles he's six five yeah he looks like brad pitt <laughs> wearing sunglasses and then the beta the virgin oh, i forgot stacy's oh stacy's stacy yeah. is the female version of chad yes i hope y- y'all are still with us yeah um, I know it's a bit confusing, but I'm trying to, it's fascinating to me. It is. It's, it's a whole other world. What? Who's the most dangerous? Who has the potential to cause more destruction? An incel, beta, or simp? Incel. For sure. Why? Because they're angry. They, they're angry. They just, they have like hate in their heart. They, yeah. they're like mad at the world because girls don't like them like i 
I don't know if I kind of empathize. I empathize in the fact that I, I understand what it's to, f- how it feels to be lonely or yeah, feeling, whatever. It's the but way that they like respond to rejection, you know? It's almost entitlement, like I'm a male, therefore yeah. I deserve this, this, and this. Yeah. But what they're not realizing is you have to work on improving yourself. Yeah. Like you might not get to the Chad slash alpha level, but you could be like an alpha slash beta. You could totally be, you could be a beta. I like to think there's some form of Chad inside all of us, you know? Yeah. (laughs) So you think that even a beta could deep down be an alpha? Yes. I think a beta could unlock the alpha that's door. a mind shift, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. That's like It's just a mind shift like you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to do this this gym, work on my career, do this mm-hmm. internship, go to this school, go to art school, yeah. do this, do this thing and then you could literally go Yep. That's right? it. It's just a change a change a perspective, change a lifestyle that's it Mm -hmm. now do would you agree that betas and simps give is it attention that they're giving out freely as well because i know a lot of it is like i like oh good liking all your pictures and you're the best girl you go like right yeah yeah so if they just stop that behavior don't you think it could improve for them um, I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with simps too much because un- unless they're, if they're polite, that's great. But like, sometimes they get like overly horny and that's when it starts to become an issue. So when they do that, get horny but they're nice too. Wait, I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> no, they're because everyone, you know, we're all humans. We're all yeah. gonna feel it. But what's like their approach? Nice. Well, yeah, but what's their approach then? That's um, my... like just regular. Wait, so there's different levels of horny. I mean, are you? So you're talking about like horny simps, not just like yeah, regular... horny simps, horny simps, horny simps will um. <laughs> I know this is a lot. I know this is yeah. horny simps will often, um, you know, like ask me for feet pics and wait. For... <laughs> let's rewind that. What did you say? Uh, they'll for your feet for feet pics. Yeah. Now, why would they do something like that? Yeah, foot fetish. You got that? There's... That's okay. I'll just let that <laughs> yeah. breeze by. I, I'm not gonna question. Why. <laughs> I, mean, I could I could spend the whole day. I could that. not get um, into the mechanics of foot fetishes. That's a whole. That's so beyond me. The only thing that'd be weirder than that is send me a picture of your armpit. Yeah, and I'm sure that you know they would love that too. Or your earlobe. Yeah. See, well, like once you of... get into like asking for pictures of any body part, really, other than that's... the sexual parts. Eat, right, because I mean, let's not like that would be parts, more like oh they're asking for the like yeah, a nudie or something. That's more normal. I don't love it, you know. But Who does? It, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um. So how do? Jeez. <laughs> okay. So how do you deal with that situation when someone asks for a foot picture? Oh, I so I usually just don't respond. I just ignore it if it's like they're asking for a foot pic. I'll just ignore it. But if and if it gets like too like I I'm not going to go into like details, but if it gets like too specific or too like, like uh, eyelash <laughs> or I don't know, I'm just trying if, to If like in like a weird sexual way it gets like too much, you yeah, know? Yeah, absolutely. Then I'll just block them. Yeah. Yeah. So there, so there's people out there that will ask for pictures other than your genital. I their... get probably about at least three people a day asking for feet pics. What? 
Yeah, it's a big, there's Every a big day. market. Do you have like magical feet? Like what's going on? I like, got regular, got, like, what's I got going regular on? feet. What's going on down there? Like there, nothing special. Nothing, just normal feet. Normal feet. Is it maybe because of the, uh, do you do your nails down? Like, no. They I mean, just want to see your feet. Yeah. I had no idea that was a thing. Oh, it's a huge thing. Is yeah. there a terminology for that? Foot fetish? Just, just foot fetish. Yeah, feet guys. What's the most, what's weirder than that? Like elbow pick hmm. um, or just your nose? I'd, I'd say that, pro- I mean, probably something like ear would be weirder than that. It was but something that exists. Are you asking me or like, like <laughs> maybe like teeth plaque? Teeth plaque. Like sh- yeah, let me see that the is, inside of your that teeth, is like the cracks of your teeth. I need to see the yeah, plaque. Yeah. That'd be the weirdest. Yeah. <laughs> or booger? Booger, yeah. Um butt crust. That would be weird. That would be weird. Um That makes more sense than teeth plaque though, in a way. I think those are all like maybe in the same <laughs> realm. Okay. Cuz you're dealing with the part Just... but then the part yeah. It, that's working on that, you know? Yeah. Right? You don't care about the butt. You just want well, the crust. Well, because, you know, you have your anus. I could, I could, I would be like, okay, a guy asked for a picture of your butt or your butthole. Yeah. But if they bring it to the level of butt crust, yeah. they're crossing a the line. They're t- that's definitely, I, I draw the line at crust. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, well, I'm just talking about like straight men for the most part. They don't really know or they really don't have a clue of what like females deal with on a day-to-day basis huh i don't think so so you know what i'm saying i think we try to tell them a lot but yeah i think they don't yeah they don't really know (laughs) yeah so like so the best thing is block it block or ignore block or ignore block or ignore yeah if it's like yeah if it gets excessive after i'm ignoring it i'll block them like block is my go-to i don't i don't respond to those people yeah now, is there any kind of scenario or situation where uh, they drive by your house? Uh, oh. And then they're just, they go honk, honk. And then, <laughs> or I don't know, I'm just trying to come up with something like, you know. Huh. Or like, or they I've leave had... a pin, you know, like, hey, I know where you live. Or something crazy. Oh, my God. Um, Because that would scare me. That's never happened. (laughs) I've had I've had people warn me that that might happen because I kept being snarky to the haters. So what was their what was what was their threat? Uh, No, drive by. No, it was like my it was like people in my life. Like they were like, you shouldn't keep doing that because someone's going to like try to kill you. Jeez Louise. Yeah. That's a death threat. When you, that's it a was, death threat. No, it was it was like my friends telling me like, hey, oh, just ignore they're warning these you. people. Oh, giving you a heads up. Yeah. Hey, be careful because yeah. this might happen. Yeah, because I like to sometimes like make fun of the people who like say weird and dumb shit to me. Yeah. So they're like, hey, why don't you tone that down? Because some of these guys seem like really creepy. Right. Yeah. So what are, let's flip the coin on that. What are certain things that men could do to be like, raise a brow? Like, oh, I like that. Uh, What do you mean? Like the opposite of what we're talking about. Like you get a message. Where they can just like be normal in a message. Yeah, be normal, (laughs) but like almost like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like this guy. Just that. Just what? Just be like, oh, I like. Oh wait, make well, yeah, me well, say yeah. I like what this could guy? a guy say to you on your DM to make you be like, "Oh, I like him" or "He's cool." Like to make me respond? Yeah. Oh, that's that's a tough one because I think there's there's only been one person who like I've actually like talked to like uh continuously. Just on Instagram. From, yeah, like who knew me from TikTok. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. So what did he do that was different than all the rest to stand out in that way? Oh, he made a joke in my DMs. So, guys, you got to be funny. You got to be funny. You got to be be funny, funny, guys. Funny enough for me to, like, borrow the joke and put it on my story. I didn't steal the joke, but he inspired it. It made you laugh. It made me laugh. Yeah. Do you remember what he said? 
just was, so people could learn from this it was about do you know the meme like um there are two wolves inside of me do you know that kind one of. it was refresh my yeah kind of it was kind of like the angel and the dean like two yeah like, it's duality. like there are like two two wolves yeah. inside of me and you know it'll it'll say like i i don't know it did something though Two, yeah you gave him a it shot did something i don't remember exactly what he said but so guys make sure to be funny say a really funny thing a yeah meme something say clever something about wolves something about wolves or any animal yeah like an animal type thing animal well, type thing always works always works always <laughs> do emojis work it depends on the emoji and how it's used <laughs> great segue <laughs> i love what you're doing <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> it depends on the emoji and how it's used. What are the go-to ones where they're just bulletproof? When I'm receiving them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like there are such specific contexts. I think that a lot of times emojis for me, because I'm not a huge fan of emojis. I like, I think. What are the ones that aren't? so annoying i like when they're used kind of ironically sometimes mm. you know um never use the heart though right like the just regular Ooh, heart heart or heart eyes I no 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 heart eyes so guys mm -mm. <laughs> no heart eyes no regular heart no purple heart no, no hearts in i don't general. like the laughing crying emoji that's oh. i don't like that one so, okay, let me add on to that. Don't do the laughing or the crying emoji. No, the it's too repetitive. <laughs> it's too repetitive. Just, okay. Yeah, just okay. go along with it. It's too repetitive. It's redundant. You don't want to do that. What else? Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for my list. Um, what about the celebration one? I used that one. I used the, the, I used the celebration With the little one. Uh, thing in his mouth? No, it's uh Oh, the little like it, it's a confetti the confetti yeah, the, thing. The gift, the Those gift. are fine. Those are great. Cuz I use that and it hasn't worked thus far as a <laughs> as a flirting tool. Well, on female it's, stories. It's a weird message to send. I'm not wait, sure wait, wait, let's what elaborate it would on. Be. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, wait wait, call me out. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm not if I received that, I don't know what it would mean. It doesn't mean <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. It doesn't mean anything, does it? I don't think it does. It so it's like, like sending nothing. It's like saying congratulations or something. <laughs> okay, in my mind, in my mind, I'm like, oh, dude, this is going to work. <laughs> She's going to notice it. She's going to be like, hey, thanks for, I don't know what's going on in my head. But look, guys, it hasn't worked. Yeah, maybe switch up the. What about the house, the home? I think the house would work. That's like, I want a family with you Wanna so start that <laughs> guys that's bulletproof the home emoji you can't go wrong nope home emoji's great what about i asked this to uh with a uh, a previous guest harper a uh, comedian guest last week and i i've been seeing this a lot it's the surprised i like that one the, but what does that mean that one's just kind of like you know this one the yeah well, what is that? That's almost like in the gray area, too. I think it's kind of like a, whoa. But mm. what does it mean? You, you know? What? <laughs> so there's a, it's a bad to get that? I think it's like you're caught off guard. Like, ugh. Oh. Yeah. That's how I think it. Or it's like, what? I asked this also. You know? What does this, this mean? Th no, this. Oh, this? The, yeah, I just, isn't uh, that, that, like, that's a new one. Uh, isn't that the Italian Yeah, hand? but what, is the, what does it mean, this one? It's just like, oh, that's what, a what, spicy what are, meatball. <laughs> it's like the Italian hand. <laughs> Mamma mia. The, yeah. Oh, Mamma mia. Cordellini. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a spicy. That, but what does it mean? Oh, but, but what if... I think it just but means I'm Italian. Korean. Oh, so she's Italian. I don't. I a mean, a female. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep her anonymous. Uh, possible future guest. She could be Italian. She sent two in a row though, which really, oh. it really, yeah, two in a row. Boom. Extra bo Italian. Side by side. Yeah. Extra meatballs. Yeah. 
That's so it's a very extra. Italian thing to do. They don't just send one. But doesn't this mean it, it's it, it's not condescending though, is it? No. It's just oh, extra. Wait for yeah. do and it a, like what? Well, so me, it, Mario. But yeah. what is it, <laughs> Mario? Mario, <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, Luigi. But what does it mean? I'm just trying to. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. I really have no idea what God, it means. I really don't like I don't emojis. Know. I never. I <laughs> wish emojis never existed. There's too many now. There's. They keep making them, and I think they need to stop. Yeah. So, would you respect a man more? Let's say if he's trying to holler at you, using no emojis, old school, just words. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, that's two weeks in a row. Just be a man. No, use words. Harper said no. it, and Katie said it. Use only words with proper punctu- uh, punctuation. Punctuation. I mean, you Does know, that grammar is more important to me, but it's still it's fine. Because I always thought this, because, you know, like, there's a lot of, like, dating books and stuff. They say, yeah. like, you know, these modern-day dating videos on YouTube, they say... You have to act as if you purposely misspell stuff because it lets them know, like, oh, this is no big deal. I'm in just in a hurry, so I'm just going to, like, misspell this. No. So that's that doesn't work. I, do, I mean, you if know you... What I mean? You know the, the psychology, though, that I'm kind of trying to poke at there? I don't... I mean, I feel like th- that wouldn't work on me. If you misspelled something, uh, I'd be like, you, you, would, you didn't know how to spell that word. You <laughs> So you would notice that. It depends on the word. It might be, you know, if it's a short word, then it might be. Right, just... right. But what about this? Okay. I, obviously, I'm not a female, but I'm I'm just guessing that the way the guy feels about it, if they spell everything perfectly, you know, the proper usages mm-hmm. of the period and commas and exclamation points, perfect, like a perfectly written paper, mm-hmm. then that shows desperation because they're, 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 they are they're so concerned so about getting everything it. perfect. Like, what do you think about that angle? I, I mean, personally, I, I don't think anything about that. I think that like, I don't know. Just for me, like weird texting games, like that's putting too much effort into something already is to like that. Like you're putting so much effort into making it look like you're putting no effort in, you know, I love the way those are beautiful usage of the words there. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. Well said. Well said. Yeah, Yeah. That's just so I guess I guess what we're trying to say at uh, for the people listening and watching is. Don't put so much thought into it. Yeah. Just just be go yourself. with it. Yeah. Right? And you don't worry about punctuation. Right. What? Now, do you think cuz we're on the cuz we're really excelling with technology, you know, 5G's popping off. Have you seen the movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix? I did. Yes. And, I'm really uh, bad at remembering movies. But you though, know so what if it's you're about. You're gonna ask me oh, specifics. But, but it's about. I, I was. I was gonna. I only yeah, brought that he, up. Like, as loves contact his computer or a robot. Yeah. yeah, robot. So do you think in a few years that's gonna shake up the dating world? Like if there's I female robots and male robots walking there on the street. There are already people in who Japan, are probably. Yeah, probably in Japan who are marrying. I think there was there were like a few people in Japan who have married their sex robots. But what's that going to do the dating market? Are women going to be mad? Because guys will probably because the in, okay let's go back to the incels and betas and the simp's. Yeah, that's going to be the best news of the day. Yeah, they're going to be like, it's out. They're going to put the $5,000 down. You got my wife. Oh, my yeah. God. I can customize <laughs> Natalie Portman face, Scarlett Johan, whatever. <laughs> and then, but what's that going to do to the women? Um, I think that, I mean, I think most guys would prefer a real woman, you know? Like, I think that if you, like, if you had the option between a... <clears throat> pretty woman 
and a sex robot, and one of them could be your wife, which one would you go with? Ask me personally. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to keep it straight. I am straight. asking okay. you personally. Wait, just rephrase it. Let's start okay. from the beginning. Let me just hold up. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Okay. So if you had the option to choose between a pretty lady and a sex robot for a wife, which would you choose? A real woman. Yeah. Yeah, a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you convinced? I am. Okay. I believe you. Um, <laughs> a real woman. <Yeah>. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's such a hard question. <clears throat> because, fuck, that's a tough one. Is it? Is a it little a bit. Because question? depending on... Okay, you know what? Let me. I'm gonna bring the term. Okay, I'm gonna bring are, this movie. The ter- Terminator. Terminator One. Terminator Two. Okay. In Terminator One, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the main. He was a certain model, uh, cyborg or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But then in Terminator Two, the 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 bad one, is is the upgraded version of what Arnold was in the first one. Okay. So. It, it's depending on like the progress because you would think that even the ones in Japan right now that are walking around or wherever in some warehouse or something, you're they're probably oh it looks like a mannequin, oh the move the the lit the mouth's moving oh it looks like it's taught you know it won't be so um, accurate as far as portraying like a real human being but maybe like 50 years like I'll probably be dead by then yeah but like maybe 50 years down the line or something you won't be able to distinguish between a real person and like a, like on some Blade Runner shit, like the real side, you know, well, synthetics, then, synthetics. That would, they'd cyborg. probably end up doing that with men too then, right? You know? I like that you brought that up. Yeah. So. Cause like women don't want that, but if like all the. Well, how, why would you, are you, why women would you don't, say, I don't think women really want of, sex robots. Or a man android. I mean, you know what? You're I, right because yeah. they have. Uh, why is that? Do you think? I'm just trying to figure. Yeah, because I I never thought of that angle. I think are women. Will women be hyped on that? Which one? Wait, Androids well, well, or sex robots? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, how about this? An android that has several different usage usages. It could clean the the bathtub and do sex acts or okay. whatever it could do everything it could paint the house okay it could wash the car it so, could do everything it could do everything so basically it's just like a person just like a yeah. person but not a person exactly okay well then you know what's the issue then then it's just like okay everyone gets to pick whatever you want <laughs> no but if i okay let me put myself in a female's shoes If I was a female, Mm -hmm. and let's say, because there are probably female betas or simps too, right? Of course, yeah. Okay, I'm a female beta or simp. Mm -hmm. I'm always alone. I'm never, I I don't do dating sites. I would never meet people in public at all. My communication skills are zilch. Yeah. And then I'm on my computer, and then there's a commercial... Da 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 da. Chad, get your Chad today. <laughs> Customizing five different models. One can, uh, Ryan Gosling, Tom Hardy, um, Leonardo. Di- you know, you could customize your own look and features. You know, then yeah. if I'm a female and I'm watching this commercial, I'm like, oh, I don't have to be alone. Yeah, I could. There's five different models to choose from. Ryan Gosling. I think it's Denzel like- Washington. Whatever. Steven Yoon. If you, you want it's to go Stephen to Asia, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's all different ethnicities, yeah. right? I think, you know, no hate to the sex robot people, but I think it's like you you hit a certain level of loneliness before you you get there. What do you mean by that? I. <laughs> well, what level are you talking about? I feel like, like you, you know. What, what do you mean? It's few levels below like below you didn't lonely? think you could get this lonely you know oh so there's levels to that too there's levels below that there's levels below that yeah so wouldn't you call that suicidal <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm just let's call a spade this a spade. is an alternative i'm trying to call a spade a spade suicide. that's yeah. the suicide watch because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said okay this is the lonely level yeah 
but there's levels below there's, the lonely yeah. level. And so when you get five tiers down on that. That sex robot time. Then yeah. that's appealing. Yeah. So you're taking to an extreme. I'll give you that. So <laughs> you're saying when you get to the point where you're about to kill yourself, then you get the Leonardo DiCaprio AI model. Yeah. That's. I mean. I think so. I mean, I I'm think a straight guy, and I, I might want to get one just to hang out with him or something. You know, I'd get, I'd get a robot friend for sure, but oh. like, I don't. It a depends on friend. it depends on how they are. They should I'd have to. They like, should know give them. you the option, like the um that Black Mirror. You know how like the um USS Callister. You know, like the Star Trek one where um you know they're in the simulation, whatever mm-hmm. the computer simulation, and but all of the the simulated people that. Um, they have no se- sex parts. They're just, it's just yeah. blank. They should give you a uh, option where it's the, uh, like the PG version, like PG version of the Android. Like, and this one, like, you know, the, you know, has no, it's yeah. just a companion. Yeah. So do you think there's appeal in that? Just for lonely people that just want companionship? I think so. But maybe you might fall in love. Okay, but so then you have this option. So you if you upgrade. happen to fall in love, you can upgrade <laughs> yeah. like a phone. So if you happen to fall in love with your AI, your yeah. robot, you could bring it back into the yeah the warehouse. Get an and we operation. Could, we could, yeah, exactly. I think that's a pretty good idea, honestly. I'm hmm. I'm pro androids now. You are. I'm pro robots. See? Yeah. You are. Yeah. Okay, let's play this one out. <laughs> if it was out in the market right now. Describe your perfect Android. What would the face look like? What would the body look like? What would the speech sound like? And all that. The butt, the arms, all that. Oh, I feel like you're just asking like my... Huh. Or you could just have like a... Corey Wong from... (laughs) 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 Did you copy? What? The? I was expecting like George Clooney, Leonardo, no. <laughs> Tom Hardy. No, Corey Wong or a young Harrison Ford. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a freaking handsome Young man Harrison right Ford who can just Young like what? Like back. Raiders of the Lost Ark or even a prequel to that? No, just, yeah, just Raiders of the Lost Ark. So before Star Wars... Yeah, somewhere. For Star Wars. Somewhere between there. Between Why? Star that's Wars. That's interesting. And when do, so, hold up, hold up. I want to examine this. Why? Because that's a specific. Yeah. That's a specific person there. Why Harrison Ford? I just feel like he's a dreamboat. I feel like he's a hunk. In what ways? Uh, wh- did you watch Star Wars as a kid or something? And you're like, no. I like Han Solo. Or I, uh, how, how did this come about? I didn't grow up on Star Wars. I I don't know. I just like. I think I saw him like as as me as an adult, and I was like, "Yeah, I, I'm into that." Do you know he was a carpenter? That makes sense. He's like my friend Tada. He lives um somewhere in the hills. I don't mm-hmm. know, going towards Mulholland. Or, uh, he lives in um a back house, mm-hmm. a loft. Harrison Ford built lived there, built the, his own loft. You know, like the a yeah. ladder. Like a wooden ladder that goes up. He he lived there, and I'm like, what? That's so cool. He, you know, this is before he got his break in Hollywood, in the movies yeah, and all that. That's so. Did you know that? I did not. He's so. The does coolest. that raise? Does that make him cooler? Absolutely. Yes. Right? That makes him so much cooler. As if yeah. he like needed to be. You know. Yeah. He was already he was so already, cool. But that raised it up a couple notches. Yeah. He, 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 like, you know, he built. He raised himself up. He builds things. Yeah. Construction, building, yeah. planning. So Harrison Ford, um, if you happen to watch. If you're this, watching right now, uh, Harrison particular Ford. particular <laughs> episode of the Stevie Weeby Show, 200 something. Um, uh, what's your, in- uh, Katie St. Ange. That's O-N-G-E. Okay. Yeah. And uh, she'll check her um, DMs. I read I read all my DMs. She lives Harrison. in the greater Los Angeles area. And uh, 
what what a restaurant or oh you know i mean oh, i'm uh, maybe mr wong's or, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i'm just trying to i don't know asian food steakhouse you, oh i'm not put picky. it out there I, you know we Coffee? could just meet at a subway you'll you would That's... meet harrison ford at subway sale wherever why, why not why not it's, Jersey, Jersey it's Mike. on Jersey me Mike's. yeah jersey mike's <laughs> Jersey Mike. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jersey Mike. Yeah. Um, oh my God, time flew by. Um, now, can we talk about uh, your skits or your website, uh, social media? Like, mm-hmm. where can people find you and best support you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm Skatey420 on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter, but I'm not super much. active on Twitter. Yeah. Um, how could people watch the. Uh, the 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 sketch of uh, the Shirley's sketch that you were previously on. Oh, recently. that's that's up on his YouTube. Um, I think it's called like how how Gen Z goes through a breakup or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. He has your back, by the way. You know that, right? He does. Because you know, I didn't tell you this, boy. but he. I was talking to him. I go, I liked one of his things, and he goes, "Oh, you're having Katie on. She's the best." Oh. So that's a homie. He is a he homie. like he like he like he put you that's, you know yeah I didn't so want to tell you but he did thank you for he telling did, yeah me. he did DM me that he's like oh she's the best she's the coolest you guys are gonna have so much fun that makes me so happy that's were you guys so at Fat Sal's recently we were oh, I used to did work you, there oh yeah, uh, did you see uh, us no <laughs> you know, it was on a, in, one of your guys oh yeah show, and I'm like oh I used to work there I was the yeah. shake guy I, oh, yeah. I made the milkshakes in the back. Those are good shakes. Yeah. So, um, and so, are you, um, Skatey Four? Are you? The, is it the same handle on all of it? Yep. Mhm. Everything's just Skatey Four Twenty. Mhm. And then, what about the TikTok? Same. Mhm. The same thing. And so, do you have any? Have you thought about merch or anything? Maybe in the future or some. I've thought about it. Is <laughs> I, I'm leaning against it for now, but maybe someday. Think about it. I will think about it. You know, you should holler at Shirley's about that. I'm sure he's probably more experienced in like merch and all that. I might and ask him about it. I think he could probably it. lead you in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe at least a shirt or I c- yeah, I could a do shirt. It, like, Pog Daddy shirts or something. Yeah, because yeah. there's a niche. Chad. There's a niche for that. Yeah. Or a niche. Niche. Is I, it niche or niche? I say niche, but I think either is niche. right. There's a niche for yeah. that. <laughs> niche. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, something to think about. Yeah. Appreciate your time. I still have my announcements. Um, if you like this shirt, um, our good friend Land uh, created this. Uh, go to infinity-shirt.com. And he just used this as an example of, like, you could put your dog on it, and it could go do 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 you know, or you could, whatever you want to do at home, or whatever you want, skateboard, boom, 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 you know, and it could do... Kind of like the shiny almost or something or dreamscape yeah so go to uh infi- infinity uh dash shirt.com go to youtube.com slash scissor bros that's the n- other new podcast do you know that we put ben gay on our nut sacks our penises and buttholes wow mm-hmm. i'll have to check that out <laughs> <laughs> Please support it. <laughs> is that, are we going above and beyond or what? That is. Who does that? Those are lengths that I wouldn't go for fame. So I commend you. Just for content. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get views. Here. <laughs> What's worse than Ben Gay to put on anything? Oh. Icy Hot. Icy Hot. Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go to youtube.com slash Stevie Weeby. That's the YouTube channel. Um, all my music's at StevieWeebyBandcamp.com. Uh, Patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby to best support this platform and content. Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Uh, StevieWeebyShow.com. Again, uh, if you haven't subscribed to Scissor Bros, go to youtube.com slash Scissor Bros today. Um, those uploads are on friday every friday and every week there's a new messed up challenge we're gonna do one with poo in the future eating poo eating it i haven't won one a challenge (laughs) so i know i figured listen to my let's just hear me out my psychology 
He beat me in the hot sauce challenge. I didn't win the Bengate challenge. We just ate these jelly beans uh, that they have messed up uh, flavors like rotten egg, booger, barf. Jelly Belly makes them. Yeah. And we even oh, okay. ate the other ones with all hot uh, jelly beans. I didn't win that. So I have to take it up a couple ma- notches. How do you win those? Whoever gives up first. Oh, okay. So whoever with the Ben Gates. So th- you think that you can. He won't eat, eat my poo. You think you can eat more poo than him? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to force. And this is, another, <laughs> this is the kicker. I'm going to force him to eat like eight corn on the cobs the night before. We're going to go, hey, you eat corn and I eat corn. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, you know where I'm going with Yeah. That. Yeah. You think I can win? You think I have a shot? I think I think you know the answer. I think you have the I'm, drive <laughs> for it. <laughs> can we show that on YouTube? Um, pro- you might have to like disclaimer that it's fake. Even if it's just... You're sharp. I have to give you that. That's that you're right. That's the way we do it. Um, thanks so much for your time. Was that easy? Yes, thank you. Did time yeah. fly by? It sure did. Yeah, that was okay. I fast. have sparkling water. You know, I have sparkling water as well if you want to. I might take a sparkling water. There you water, go. Yeah. Till next time. <laughs>